Well, we're going to do a walk around of this 19, 1991 Volkswagen Transporter Doka. And this one's kind of unique in that it's not only battery powered, but it also has solar. So we're going to take a look at all the features. First off, you can see that the bed sides go down, which was a nice feature of these. They have a high bed on them, so having the bed sides go down make it easy to reach things in the bed. You can lift, uh, load with a forklift from the sides, whatever the case may be. And then they typically had three doors. You see no door on the driver's side, but one on the passenger side here in the rear. The rear seat has been removed. They normally have a rear seat. This one, the rear seat had been removed. And if you look at our videos from eight years ago, you'll know why this was used for a mobility scooter transport. Now we use it as a utility vehicle for hauling tools, supplies, and our solar components. So coming in through the window, we have our solar uh, lines coming in from the solar panels. And we'll talk about those in a moment. They come through our disconnect switch and everything goes through the solar charge controller. Turn that on. Turn on our battery pack here, which then turns on the solar charge controller. Cloudy overcast day today. So we'll see what we we get when we turn this thing on. Flipping the switch. And The batteries are full, so it's not going to be really charging anything until we put a load on something. And so, it's putting 5 amps into the battery right now, but like I said, it's, that'll taper off because the batteries are full. So, this is the solar charge controller, electronics and stuff, some of it's under the seat right there, or the back part of the seat. In the front of the seat we've got our storage for a extension cord for plugging in this thing. We have a 4000 watt pure sine wave inverter that's 4000 continuous watts, 8000 surge. And then we have two SOK 206 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. undo two straps and they can be lifted out. They have convenient handles and they're out of here. Let me turn this thing on. So it would draw a little bit low of a load. So even with that on we're still pulling about four amps into our battery pack on this dark overcast day. So the rest of this you can look at our earlier videos. There's the JLD 404, which shows our traction pack information. The Curtis 841 or 840 display that monitors our motor and inverter and our 12 volt gauge, which monitors our 12 volt system. And of course, the 12 volt auxiliary battery is under the passenger seat. And we have a little trickle charger right here, so we can keep that charged. And that's plugged in right now, so that's the only load on the inverter. So, let's, uh, let's plug in the car. So under the driver's seat, I have a nice heavy extension cord. And this is what we're going to use to charge the vehicle. So I'm going to plug in and 
run it through the window here just like this um, solar cable is and we'll charge this puppy up. So with the charge cable plugged in and run through the window we'll plug it into the inverter here. It is now plugged into the inverter. We'll see what happens here. Give it a minute to turn on. We can see that the we're charging the fan just came on on the inverter and we're charging the traction pack at 7.2 amps and we're pulling out of our we're pulling out about 39 amps out of our battery pack here so if we had better solar we would you know be pulling less out of the battery pack than we are now but uh, about ready to go behind a cloud and uh, we have some shadowing on this far one because we're not really facing into the sun so you can see the shadow on this panel right here and uh, you can see by the shadow on the ground we're we're not facing into the sun by any means the panels are dirty they haven't been cleaned <laughs> so we're just giving you this quick walk around introduction so we are charging the vehicle right now on a combination of our solar battery pack here and and solar so you can see we still have room in the back of the doka here for whatever customization you'd want to do we uh, we use it for hauling different things. You can put tires in here, parts, tools, whatever. And it's just a great work vehicle. And we'll close things up and give you another look at the um, exterior of the thing with the sides up and so forth but right now we've got the solar deployed and uh, we're just going to let it top off the batteries again let's take a few more minutes close it up and you noticed when it's closed up you can't tell what's going on you have no idea that there's this solar <laughs> array and so there's eight 200 watt solar panels. So two on either side, two on the top that are stationary, and two in the rear here that telescope out for 1600 watts of solar. They're configured. The two side ones are all in series for 48 volts, and the rear and stationary one are in series and then they're in parallel so that gives us a setup of two 48 volt strings in parallel and you know it'll put out i've seen 26 or 27 amps before out of this thing and this is fall and so we're not having the best sunshine and this has just been for you know kind of quick testing purposes we have the ability to tilt 
this whole thing to the rear and uh, of course you can position the vehicle towards the sun we haven't done that we've just done you know the minimal parked here and 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 see what uh, what we get and it's been uh, been satisfactory so far we're real pleased with the performance thus far well before it starts raining on us get a little more footage for you here so this is what it looks like collapsed down and the way this works is this one that pulls out to the rear locks into the side ones so uh, it can't come back and uh, because of the glides it can't go forward and the side ones can't go outward because of it but we have a an additional strap that goes around the girth of this anyway just to make sure everything stays in place and then the whole thing is strapped down front and rear and uh, we can loosen the front straps and the rear ones a little bit and like I said tilt the thing and adjust it to whatever angle we want and we remove two straps and this whole thing lifts out as a unit and it weighs approximately I think just under 250 pounds and of course here we just have our our wiring that goes to the uh, solar charge control just rolled up right there so what happens is let me close this and uh, cut up our sides in the tailgate there you see this goes together very quickly and easily Hit up the tailgate and what we have now is a vehicle that just looks like any other Volkswagen Doka well almost the other kind of giveaway is the fuel port no more <laughs> although we're thinking about putting a J1772 charge port in that location and adding a second charger on this thing put a 3.3 right now it has a 2.5 kilowatt we'll add a 3.3 I think and the uh, grab the key here and show you of course the treasure chest this is the compartment that goes all the way across the vehicle here. Weather tight, locked. And there we have our batteries. 38 of these cells. Calb 180 amp hour cells. which have been in there for eight years and they sat out in the Mojave Desert all that time and we're going to do a feature on all of that we're going to go for a test drive later in a different video but we thank you for coming along for this overview video the car still needs to be cleaned and so forth it's been sitting in the warehouse for a few months and we have not done anything to it other than we had the motor sent out for repair and upgrades and we added the solar but this is this is what it looks like and it is a hoot to drive this thing has a lot of torque and as far as conversions go, you know, this isn't uh, 
an expensive conversion like a lot of them are today with the uh, you know Tesla components and so forth which would give this thing you know <laughs> a lot more get up and go but you know once the tires are spinning look how much more do you want you know what I mean I mean this thing will easily smoke the tires off it, it'll 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 they're they're working hard to get traction in second gear for the standing start so uh, first gear you can just you know break them loose and that's not the way I drive so you know maybe I'm showing my age but even when I was young you know you do it once in a while but I was too tight to spend the money to want to smoke off my tires all the time so anyway <laughs> there you have it the 1991 electric powered Volkswagen Transporter Doka with solar charging.